Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Normanus Wright. We're doing something a little bit different this week. I am at the Grunfoss headquarters outside of Houston, Texas in their Sustainable Buildings Academy. And we are going to look at the distributed pumping wall that you see behind me. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Mike Madsen. I'm the Technical Sales Manager for Distributed Pumping with Grunfoss. Uh, we're here today at the uh, Sustainable Buildings Academy, and we're going to talk about the distributed pumping demo. Uh, we'll start with a product introduction on the Delta 8 CU uh, package pumping system, and then we'll talk for a couple minutes on the Magna 3 pump. Uh, the Delta 8 CU package pumping system is a package pumping system that we'll use on the primary side of the system. Uh, there are several benefits to the distributed pumping, uh, package pumping system. Uh, one is the pumps we use. Uh, so if you look at the pumps here, you'll see the motor has an integrated uh, VFD, and it's also the highest efficiency rating that we have. It's the IE5 efficiency rating. You'll also notice here we have a rigid motor stool. Uh, this makes this pump not require alignment. Uh, we have a machined fit at the motor stool in the back and a machined fit at the motor stool in the front. And so that gives me a perfect alignment between the pump and motor. So the pump never needs to be aligned. Uh, the building owner can actually change the mechanical seal by taking off the uh, coupling guard. And you can change the mechanical seal without removing the motor. Uh, with the IE5 motor, uh, it's just the efficiency improvement over NEMA premium. We save 7 to 10% on the energy cost. Uh, this also saves the engineer and the contractor on installation time and cost uh, because this comes as a complete package. Uh, when we look at the pump controller, we'll see this in operation in a few minutes. This is the controller on the Delta 8 CU. Um, this was developed by Grunfoss, and one of the innovative things it does is something called efficiency-based pump sequencing. So as the flow increases in the system, it will only turn on another pump when it's more efficient to do so. We'll come over to the other pump uh, that's used in the distributed pumping application is the Magna 3 pump. Uh, the Magna 3 pump is a permanent magnet, excuse me, permanent magnet motor, ECM motor technology, and has a built-in controller, a built-in uh, temperature sensor and delta P sensor. It comes with its own insulation shells. Uh, it's maintenance free. It's a wet rotor circulator and it's a very efficient circulator. It has some of the highest uh, pump efficiency index ratings of uh, any circulator pump on the market. So a perfect pump to replace the control valves on your air handler units uh, in the distributed pumping application. Uh, so next we'll actually talk about the components that go into the distributed pumping application. Uh, we'll start again at the primary pump skid. Uh, so for those of you familiar with primary secondary, this is similar to primary secondary. Uh, this skid will be on the primary side. And then we have some simulated equipment for the demo. Uh, so this part here is actually simulating my chiller. I've got my air separator. Um, I have the device called the decoupler. We'll see this in operation later. Uh, the decoupler decouples the primary side from the secondary side. It makes these two independent systems. Uh, so we'll see as we're operating the system, we'll see the paddle wheel flow meter. Uh, we'll see some flow on the decoupler as the, as the flow stabilizes on the secondary side. Across the decoupler, uh, we do the control with four temperature sensors, uh, two on the supply side and two on the return side. So we use those to control the speed of the primary pump skid. Uh, coming out onto the secondary side of the system in the building, uh, we have two air handlers. This is air handler number one. And I mentioned earlier, we've replaced the control valve on the air handler with the Magna 3 pump. Uh, by doing that, we cut the uh, pumping energy by 55% or more. 
uh, because the control valve uses a lot of head pressure. Uh, if you're using a 50% uh, valve authority, 50% uh, of the head in the traditional system is that control valve. Uh, so we're able to eliminate that. Uh, we're coming over here in the system. Uh, this is the next air handler unit and the next Magna 3 pump. Uh, so we can also use the pump on fan coil units. Uh, here I'm simulating three fan coil units and we'll use a different control mode. Um, on this pump, we'll set it up in something called proportional pressure, uh, which we'll talk about maybe a little more as we go along. Uh, the pumps on the air handler units will be set up to maintain leaving air temperature on the air handler. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're actually going to turn the system on and see it in operation. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is I've already got my primary pump skid on. Um, I can see here on the display, I am moving a water. And I can see since there's no load on the secondary side, my paddle wheel uh, flow meter is spinning. So I'm, I'm circulating water through the decoupler. Uh, the first thing I'll do is we're going to see what the pump is doing on the controller on the Delta 8 CU. So we'll come here to the Delta 8 CU. I will liven the screen up and I can see I've got one pump running at 39% speed. So what I'm doing right now, I can see here there's a note that says chiller protection influence active. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just protecting the chiller and circulating water in that primary loop. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this first air handler and we'll see it turn green. Uh, so this is now on and I'm now sending water. We can hear the primary pumps ramping up. We're at 39% speed. Uh, we'll actually see that ramping up um, as we're supplying flow to that first air handler unit. So we're going to jump back and forth here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring the second air handler on and we're going to watch what happens in the decoupler. So right now with one air handler on, everything is steady state and in equilibrium and I have no flow in the decoupler. So we only get flow on the decoupler when something is equalizing. So I'm going to turn my second air handler on here. And what we'll see is the system is not producing enough flow. So I'm going to actually start to pull some of the return water until my pump can speed up. And we'll see how quickly that paddle wheel flow meter stops. It equalizes very fast. So it's almost equalized. I can hear in the background, I can hear my primary pump skid speeding up. So my decoupler has equalized. Let's jump back over to the controller and see what my pump speed is. So we were at 39% and now we're at 57%. So the pump automatically speeds up and slows down to deliver what's needed on the secondary side. Let's go ahead and uh, look at our Magna 3 pumps real quick. So I've got two air handlers running and I can see that on the Magna 3 pumps because I've got the green light spinning. Uh, the pumps are so quiet, we had to put this light on here so you could hear, know that the pumps are running. Um, if we hit the home screen, you can get a lot of information at the home screen. So for example, I can see this pump is uh, pumping 49.8 GPM. Um, it tells me what my set point is, how much head I'm producing. So you can get a lot of information from the front of the Magna 3 pump. Um, I can see the pump on the second air handler um, is also running. And of course, on my fan coil units, I have not turned any on yet. Um, so I'm not running on the fan coil units. What we'll do next is we'll go ahead and we'll turn on a fan coil unit. Um, so right now I've still got one pump uh, running at 59% speed. I've got no flow in my decoupler. Um, so I'm going to add some load and we'll see this decoupler do its job. So I'll go ahead and turn on two of the three fan coils. Uh, then we'll see this uh, start to adjust and we'll see a little bit of adjustment in that decoupler. So there we see... Uh, the adjustment happening across the decoupler. And we'll see how quickly it will stabilize. Again, I can hear my primary pump skid uh, ramping up a little bit. So when we're done looking at the decoupler, we'll go back and check the speed on the 
uh, primary uh, pump skid. Starting to slow down a little bit. So everything's uh, equalizing in the system. I think what's happening is we're getting ready to stage on a second pump. Uh, so we're pumping more than we, we need with the, there we stop. Now we just staged on a second pump. And so I've got too much flow for what's needed in the system. So it's going through the decoupler and that will start to ramp down again and we'll see that decoupler uh, equalize and stop again. You can, you can hear the pump, uh, the primary pump skid ramping down and you can see the flow through the decoupler has stopped. Uh, but if we pan back over to the controller on the distributed pump, uh, we can see now um, our flow in our system was sufficient enough that we needed two pumps to run. And we talked earlier about the controller doing efficiency-based pump sequencing. Uh, so we can see we're actually running two pumps at equal speed. So they're both running at 72%, and that's more efficient than running one at 100 and one at, let's say, 20% or 40%. So then we'll actually, we'll turn some load off. So we're gonna turn off uh, one of the air handler units. So I can see that's turned off now. So again, we'll see some action in our decoupler. Now we've got some flow there as we, as we equalize the system. And we'll see again how quickly that, that adjustment happens. And this is one of the things that gives us very good uh, delta T control um, across the system with these four temperature sensors. And we're reacting to what's needed in the system and adjusting to what's needed in the system. Uh, so now my decoupler has stopped. You know, I've still got uh, my first air handler running. Uh, we, we no longer had flow in the second air handler, so that pump is off. And then I'm still doing uh, two of the three fan coil units. So as we come back, um, we can see we've ramped down a little bit because we turned off that other air handler. And there's a pretty good chance as it continues to come down, we'll switch back to uh, one pump. In fact, what I'll do is I'll turn off a couple of the fan coils. And so I've turned off the fan coils. Uh, we'll see, we'll see that flow stop to the fan coils. One air handler is off. And then I can hear the primary pump skid starting to ramp down. So I've got two pumps at 47% speed. I can hear them ramping down still. And then one pump turned off. So now I'm maintaining everything needed in the system with one pump at 41% speed. So it's a great system. Um, it replaces your current uh, variable primary systems or primary secondary systems. Um, if you'd like more information, uh, please contact uh, Norman Wright and we can get you more information on the systems. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.